hold, poke, thrust. <laughs> no, I'm not here to talk about the second day. I'm here to talk about knife crime. You see, recently in my school we've had a knife arch. What's the point? Do you know of any school where knife crime has taken place on the school premises? No? no? Well, neither do I. Most knife crime, if not all knife crime, takes place out there on the streets. And depending on where you live, the statistics of your survival are variable. In Europe alone, 15,000 young people die each year. 40% of these deaths involve knives. Now, it may come to surprise you to know that Britain has one of the lowest death rates in the whole of Europe. But from my perspective, I feel like I'm living on the edge. A glance, a stare, <laughs> a cheeky grin. It can be as trivial as that. And three, two, one. You're lying on your back, fighting for your life, gasping and gasping for air, while the blood snakes its way through the pavement. Now, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you'll make it to casualty on time. But others, others too numerous to mention, didn't have that good fortune. The knife itself has become one of the most common weapons used by the younger generation nowadays. Recently, the government has announced that surgeons will be taking place in combating knife crime. It was one Christmas Eve. I had received a patient who had been stabbed on the left side of his chest. Now I thought to myself, what on earth could cause such a horror like this? Looking at his chest, I tried to inflate and inflate his lungs. But more and more and more blood poured out. It was impossible to stop. And in the end, he passed away. Now I thought to myself, who better to tell the 10 year old's parents that their son had just passed away? Who better to tell them than the very people who witnessed a desperate fight for his life? Don't come to my school and put up a knife arch. Tell me about the effects of knife crime. Don't threaten me with 25 years imprisonment. Let us, as young people, hear the testimonies of these surgeons who stem and flow, and maybe, just maybe, you all live to see that second day.